Michael St. John back with you. Christmas chaos on MCW Wrestling. There's Stephen Dunn in the ring awaiting his opponent, or his opponent, Rex King. And there he is. And Rex King just nailed him from behind with a chair. These two former partners, former tag team champions. And right now, Rex King just Pearl Harbor, Steve Dunn with a chair from behind. And there is no lost love between these two. Formerly known as Well Done, Rex King and Steve Dunn have been up and down the road together and they've had their share of controversy. And right now, that controversy is being exhibited right in the wrestling ring today on Christmas Chaos in this grudge match between former tag team partners Rex King and Stephen Dunn. And right away, King, in his inimitable style, goes right to work slugging and punching it Dunn. Referee Gene Johnson starts the count. King to the top rope, and he double axe handled him across the head. Goes for the cover quick. Now he's just pounding him. Just pounding him after going for the double axe handle. Dunn is down. King having words with the referee. And Steve Dunn, man alive, did he take a pounding thus far in this match at the hands of Rex King. Dunn is down, and King is a man, a madman on a mission. Oh, with that taped fist pounding him across the head. Both men have their taped fists. This would be a taped fist match for all intents and purposes. It is a grudge match with no time limit, no disqualification, and oh my goodness, Rex King coming off the ropes and kicking away at Stephen Dunn. You know, I gotta say, I've had a lot of respect for both of these men. As professional athletes, they have always been very, very profound and exhibiting their sportsmanship. But there is nothing shy of sportsmanship. There's nothing close to sportsmanship in this battle. And King has done in the corner and pounding away, and that is what Tate can do when it's across the hands and across the fist. Stephen Dunn lacerated severely by the sharp blow of that right hand by Rex King on that last one. And Rex King just swings a haymaker from right field, and Dunn is down. Oh my goodness, this match is out of control already, and we've just started. Rex King taking advantage of Stephen Dunn in every which way possible, mainly with his hands and his fists, and now with the clothesline and the elbow, puts King, or puts Dunn down rather, and King just prancing and stomping around the ring. Look at that, chewing some gum. Reminds me a little bit of Terry Funk in the ring right now, that uh, no-so-care attitude. And sends Dunn to the floor, and Rex King gonna go right down there with him. I'll tell you, these two, uh, these two don't like each other to begin with. They're former partners and former best friends, and now they are the bitterest enemies, and this makes for the worst kind of situation because they're not out to win a match, they're out to hurt each other and put one or the other out of the, out of the sport entirely. And Rex King rams the head of Stephen Dodd into a chair that he had set up against the ring pole. Now the ring pole is steel, the chair is steel, and his head was flying in there at about 20 miles an hour. And Rex King just whipping away at Dodd, but wow! Now here comes Steve Dodd. His ire has been raised and Rex King is now the recipient of the right hand. And Dunn has King down. And remember, Dunn's got his fist taped too, and boy, he's just wailing Rex King. Dunn is down, Rex King is down, and Dunn may have just tripped up King, and King may have returned the favor there. Over there on the floor, can't quite see what all happened, but all, all I know is Dunn was firing those right hands, and the next thing I knew, he was back on the floor. And there, you see King taking the head of Stephen Dunn and putting it back into that steel pole. He throws a chair in the ring. That could also be nothing but bad news for Dunn if he throws him back in there. Rex King, he ain't gonna throw him. He's gonna bring him in the ring by the hair of the head. Got that chair. Oh, no. Setting it up. Setting it up in the middle of the ring. Goes over, picks up Dunn. Right hand to the head to take the energy and the wind out of him. Across the way, reversal, whoa! Dunn trips him up, King goes down! King goes right down on the chair. And he may have caught his arm right in the bend of that chair as Steve Dunn quickly, 
he surmised that something bad was gonna happen. He saw the chair and he all of a sudden he was being parlayed into the ropes. He reversed it and sent Rex King flying headlong, headfirst into that folding chair. King is down. Dunn is up. He's got control of the chair. And bleeding profusely, Stephen Dunn lacerated early on, losing a lot of blood in this one. And there's one across the head of Rex King, and King is lacerated. That chair did him in. Dunn setting up the chair. What do we have here? Whoa. Drops the leg across the chair, across the head of Rex King. That is a sinus headache extraordinaire. As that hair, the, the hair of Stephen King, or Stephen Dunn rather, caught in the melee, you couldn't really see what was going on, but he really did a number on Rex King. Across the ring, whoa, King out of the corner, hit him with a fist. Both men are down. Both men have expended so much energy in this match. This match has not been going on for a long time, but to look at these men in the ring, you would think they would have been fighting for the better part of an hour. But they have put every ounce, every inch of strength that they have going after each other. And Rex King got to his feet first, takes the advantage on Stephen Dunn. Dunn caught in the corner, and King just throwing those right hands. Rex King will throw a wild right hand. He doesn't always connect, but when he does, it's trouble. He's got the chair again. Referee Gene Johnson looking across the way, and oh, Steve Dunn's gonna slow things down on Mr. King right there. Low bridge, he's got King. Chair set up, King's head into the chair. And Rex is down. Both men lacerated, both men injured. Stephen Dunn early on in this match. Rex King done in by the chair and now the tape fist of Stephen Dunn going right into the forehead of Rex King. These are two former partners, two very formidable partners. They teamed together very well. They won the tag team championships. They had their difference of opinion. And now look where this has led into a bloody battle in the middle of the ring here on MCW. King sent across. He caught Stephen Dunn coming off and bulldogging in a DDT right into the mat. The DDT, the patented hole, the patented move of Rex King, and he took the measure of Stephen Dunn just then. He's got the chair again. Will he try to pile drive him into the chair? Will he try to DDT him into the chair? First of all, he's got to get back to his feet, and he hasn't been able to do that yet. Dunn coming off, staggering, coming off the ropes, caught him with a big super kick right under the chin. And down goes King. Dunn moving in. Captures him from behind. He's got that chair, and he swings it. Whoa, that connected. Rex King is down. Stephen Dunn doing the damage with the metal chair now tosses it aside. King caught. Dunn going. Looks like a pile driver coming up. Can he hold it? Oh, no. Stephen Dunn had Rex King set for the diabolical pile driver and lost his balance and lost control of it. Goes for the cover. One, two, and King. Drapes his leg over the lower strand of ropes. That'll cause a break. And it looked like Steve Dunn may have gotten the best of it after all, even though he missed that pile driver. And Dunn now moving the moving the protective covering off of his knee brace, and he's got the knee brace off of his knee. Now this is dangerous in more ways than one. Number one, Steve Dunn has to wear that to support that left knee. But number two, that is a piece of metal that braces or, or forms the outer part of that brace. King comes up, Dunn nails him with the brace. And Dunn having trouble standing up, he better get that brace back on. I mean, Steve Dunn needs that to maintain the stability of the knee. That knee has been injured before. Coming off the ropes, caught him with the, with the right side of that boot and Dunn is down. 
No doubt about it. Dunn is down. This could be it. This could be it right here. Rex King knows it, and he goes right after Stephen Dunn. Stephen Dunn's brace removed by himself. He took it off by himself, and now that brace has caused damage in this match to both men. More so from Stephen Dunn not being able to support his weight and from the fact that it was used on the head of Rex King. Dunn raking away at the eyes. I'll tell you, Stephen Dunn just street fighting right now. Nothing scientific against uh, or about this. He's just taking the, uh, the battle right to Rex King, the way King understands best. Caught him that time. He was afraid to use that, that knee to the best advantage because he doesn't have the full strength to stand on that left. King being the recipient of those right hands by Steve Dunn and he's just pounding away. Across he goes. Caught it, no, missed him coming off. Oh, they run together. They ran together like two runaway freight trains and both men are down. Referee starting the count. Rex King is down. Stephen Dunn is down. King coming back to his knees. He took his belt off in that little exchange there, and now he's going to work over Dunn with his belt. My, oh, my, oh, my. Oh! Stephen Dunn doing what was necessary to come out of that one. Rex King still with the belt around the throat area of Dunn and now applying the pressure. The referee, of course, cannot really do anything. It's a no disqualification match. Of course, if it gets too far out of the hands of these combatants, he'll have to stop it. But thus far, this Stephen Dunn-Rex King battle has been everything that it was led to believe it would be. I'll take the rap on this match was that it was going to be a wild one from start to finish. They've been saying that they're going to go after each other and literally kill each other in the ring. And they have done just that. They have gone right after each other. Drops the knee, drops the uh, under part of the knee, the back side of the leg, across the face of Dunn and Dunn now double knees. Rex King, I'll tell you, it's going back and forth, fans. Still can't call this one. Dunn's got the belt. He's wrapping it up and he's gonna whack him with it. Knew it was coming. Stephen Dunn giving an old fashioned whooping to Rex King right now. Got the belt to his advantage. Gonna send King into the ropes. Caught him. Clothesline with it, literally. Clothesline right across the throat. Rex King being wrapped up by Dunn. Dunn's got that shirt pulled over his face so he can't see what's going on. King is a blood-stained mess. Don, of course, injured early on in the match. And Rex King now being beaten in the corner comes out of it. Whoa! Drops Stephen Dunn down across the top turnbuckle. And this could be it. Dunn is down. Rex King closing right back in after him. Remember, these two men as former tag team partners know each other's weaknesses. They're throwing right hands, not a lot of muscle behind any of them. Both men, whoa, both men down. Referee starting the count. Both men are down on their backs, flat of their backs in the middle of the ring. And they have battled and battled and battled in this one. comes Dunn. King from behind wraps him up. Roll up one, two, and he got him. Rex King getting the three count on the roll up on Stephen Dunn, and he's still not done with it. Referee calling for the bell. Dee Dee teasing right on that metal chair. And Rex Still after his ex-partner. Boy, did you hear that? 
Rex King, the street fighter, just slamming the chair into the head of Stephen Dunn. Dunn in the middle of the ring, and King has one thing in mind right now, and that's to end his career. That's it, he wants to end his career, no doubt about it. He is not going to be satisfied until Stephen Dunn cannot go between the ropes again to wrestle. And as I say that, the referee finally gets him out to the floor, and Rex King will get the victory. More MCW Christmas Chaos action is coming up.